Hey, Katie Kimmel from Kitchen Stewardship here. I've got my new mock mill, and one of my biggest like anxiety issues, I guess, when getting a new kitchen toy is getting started, like opening it up, trying it for the first time. I tend to leave things in boxes for a really long time because when I want to use it, I like need to use it now for dinner. So I just then I'm like, I don't, I can't do it now. I don't have time. So I'm gonna open my new mock mill. I watched the video on how to do this like a week or two ago. So my goal is either to show you how easy it is or to show you how dumb I am. Let's see how it goes. So I know that there's like pieces in here for shipping that I need to get out. This is awesome. There's instructions <laughs> right there that you, you know, would hit with great like you can't even mess it up. Instructions for removing the transporting locking device. So don't plug it in. That's a good idea. <laughs> then there's this uh, this here can set the like the size, right? How fine grained it is. You can move that back and forth. But instead, we're going to screw it off. Okay. Thought I was gonna be able to, okay, it's just really hard to move. We're gonna screw it counterclockwise and it comes right off. Feels a little crazy. You know, I come from having a Nutramill and the Nutramill is like Fort Knox. You cannot get into that thing for the life of you. It's, I'm doing it right, it's okay, it just takes a while. Um, tell you what, a Nutramill, I, I ground chickpeas in it once and got half a chickpea stuck in there. My husband tried with tools and everything else for like 45 minutes. Is it this part? Yes, yeah, this part. To get it fixed and we couldn't. We kind of, we use it, it's limping along, but I'm so happy to have this. Oh, I'm scared of breaking it. Let me read it between the funnel and the upper section. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's buttons here. I forgot about the buttons. Good thing, good thing they sent me a video and... Ha ha! And I didn't even hit myself in the face. That was awesome. Okay, I'm so glad this was here because if it had been just the video, I would have been trying to wiggle that forever. And now we unscrew huge cap. It feels like I'm breaking it, but I'm doing what the, what the thing says. Haha! -ha. It worked. It's not broken. Other side of the instructions. These have such helpful pictures. You guys, like, this is made by people who, who know. Wow, look at that. There's like, these are the stones. These are the stones that mill. Was I supposed to get that far in? No, I don't think so. I wasn't. I wasn't supposed to get that far in, but it's cool. It's cool to see, like, that's, that's the stones that grind together. Very, like, homey. <laughs> and I gotta get this back on the right way. Don't take that part off, you guys. Do as the instructions say, not as I say. It's just these little, these little things, and you're supposed to save them in case you ever have to ship it anywhere, or maybe, like, if you moved, you might want to have those in there. So just the two. Two little things. Screw the round cap on until you feel strong resistance. Here we go. Black marking should be at about five. There's a little black like, mark on the top. And that's supposed to be right about here. That totally is. That's as tight as my wimpy fingers can do. Oh, great. Turn it back at 3 o'clock. <laughs> so that's good. That's easy. And then there's this little, little piece over here. This is what that screw that I first took out was attached to. Gotta get that way over to here too. Okay. I can do that. No problem. Now, this goes back on. Right, like that, mm -hmm. and then my little side goes back on. That's not too bad. It says tightly. Ha! -ha. I'm gonna tighten it. Now I remember this from the video. This is not on um, the getting started guide, but at least like now I'm ready to mill. So now I'm gonna use what well, you have to mill like some discard grains just to clean it out. They don't want any dust from the factory, you know, getting into your first batch of food. So, I forgot to grab a bowl, which is important because the mock mill is designed to uh, mill on demand, right? So you mill right into your bowl and you don't, you know, you don't have to clean this. So I'm going to use white rice. I'm going to get a bowl 
and then you, you, I'm going to turn it on first. It's going to be really loud. That's why I'm telling you now. I think it'll be loud. I'm going to turn it on first and then pour in like a half cup or a cup of white rice and mill that. Cool. Okay. Now I'm ready to mill. I plug it in. And by the way, hallelujah, it actually has a long cord. I'm so tired of appliances with a cord that's like two inches long and you have to go right up against your wall. Um, I'm going to do a whole cup because of course I want to play with it. Whoops. Turn it on first. I want to play with it and see like coarse grind and not coarse grain. So I'm going to take it all the way to 10. I actually forget which way is which. So we're going to 10 first and then we'll do one. There's a little button over here. How much of a mess do you think this will make? because I was worried that as it got sucked down that it might like shoot stuff up into my face. It's probably not good to lean over this. That would be a bad example. And it did, it popped around a little bit. I don't know if it would have shot me in the face. I'm fairly certain that this is coarse ground. I'll take some, I'll have to take some pictures to show you. I'll just turn the bowl around. We'll have coarse right next to fine. So now I'm going to take number 10 all the way over. Ugh. It's really hard to move. I want to know. I want to know what happens if I run it now, but I don't want to make. I don't want to break my grain mill. What will happen if I just turn it on for a second? Let's see. Katie tests things. That's what I do. Don't break. That's not bad. If I'd gone way too far, the stones would have made a really loud noise that they're together. So let's let's just leave it at three. I'll mill another half cup of discard grain. Whoops. On first different to get used to because in the neutral melt you didn't you don't turn on first so on first super fine. It's almost almost as fine as like a cornstarch. That's great. That's so different. I'll give you a little close up on that. Just this is the coarse. You can hear it. It's so coarse. And this is the fine. Oh, it's like, it really is close to cornstarch. It's like the finest sand dust. Oh, that is so cool. All right, I have to show you one more thing. Just so you know I'm not a total whip, but also that it's not that hard. After I ran it, super easy, right? Super easy to move this lever. So there was something about, I don't know, maybe there was a little piece of rice stuck in there. There was something odd. Of course, Katie catches it on camera. It's Murphy's Law of Video. But uh, anyway, really easy to move. Totally different on either end. I cannot wait to try this and bake with this. The next thing I'm grinding is some einkorn. Whole einkorn, ancient wheat. So pumped to try it.